Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be focusing on some eye makeup and I'm gonna show you guys how I came up with this look. I did this using the Alamar Cosmetics palette. This is called Reina del Caribe. And this is the palette that was in the June 2018 BoxyCharm box. If you haven't seen my unboxing where I do swatches and I give you all the details about this palette, I'll link that video up here for you guys. So before we get started with the tutorial, if you are not already subscribed and if you're new to my channel, I really hope that you would consider subscribing. You should also click on my notification bell so that you'll know every time I upload new content and I do upload upload new videos at least once a week and if you are already subscribed thank you so much for your support and thank you for coming back so with that being said let's jump into it all right I'm gonna start by priming my eye and for my lid I'm using the Smashbox photo finish lid primer this is what I use all the time I'm gonna concentrate this on my lid and I'm gonna use something else closer to my brow And this one, as you can see, it is lighter than my skin tone because on the lid is where I would normally concentrate like shimmery or bright color. So I like to use a color that's lighter than my skin. And I'm going to pat the primer out and make it nice and smooth with a foundation brush. I'm going to take another concealer. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is their Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the color C11. That's what the color looks like. I like using a color that's a little closer to my skin tone up here because I notice when I use the uh, Smashbox primer all over my eye area, like up in this area, I'm probably going to be using like, um, matte colors or where's my brush matte colors or colors that just don't have to pop as much as the ones that i'm putting on my lid and i notice when i'm using that bright smashbox primer up here i end up having to use more eyeshadow than i want to cover up that bright um primer so i'm just using a darker color up here and I chose Makeup Revolution because it's a nice mattifying um, concealer. Okay, I'm going to work on my lid first. So I'm going to start out with the color Baradero. That's this color here. And I'm using my M167 brush. I'm going to pick up some of the color and wet the brush. I'm just using a primer spray. I like using the NYX primer spray whenever I wanna wet my brush for eyeshadow because um, this the primer spray, I don't really like it. I tried it once and I don't like it. So just to get some use out of it, I always use it with my eyeshadow. So with this, I'm gonna start out by concentrating it on the outer part of my lid. And I'm just, Stopping right above my fold. I do want to see the color a little bit, but I don't want it to go too high. I just want to make sure when I look straight ahead that the color is visible. Now I'm taking this color here. This is called Salia, and I'm going to put that in the inner part of my lid. I'm using the same brush and I'm just turning it over going to do the same thing pick up some color and wet the brush and I'm going to concentrate this on the inner part of my lid I'm actually going to drag this color over. I'm just going to do like the full half of my lid with this color. And then after I do the other eye, I'm actually going to bring that dark blue in just a little bit. 
All right, I'm picking up some more of the blue and I'm just bringing it in so that it's touching the other color. Okay, I'm switching over to the Luxie 249 brush. This is a dual ended brush and I'm using this side here. This is just not as dense as the Morphe brush that I was just using. So now I'm gonna go in with the color El Malecon. That's this color here. And I'm gonna pick this color up and I'm not gonna wet the brush this time. And what I'm gonna do is concentrate this color right in the middle of the other two colors. So the reason I didn't wet the brush, I want that color to be noticeable, but I also want the other two blue colors to kind of almost like peek out from behind this um, like yellowish color. So that's why I'm not wetting the brush and that's also why I bought the other two colors together. So that's what we're looking like so far. Unfortunately, I had the camera zoomed in as far as it can go because um, my camera just can't zoom in anymore and I'm seated as close as possible to the table. So one of these days I will upgrade my lens. Okay, so this is what we're looking like so far. This is what it looks like when I close my eyes. So now I'm going to go into my, um, I'm gonna pick up my NYX blending brush and I'm gonna go into the color Cafecito. I actually think I'm gonna mix these two colors down at the bottom. I'm gonna mix them together and I'm going to concentrate that like right on the outer part of the eye. Am I not picking anything up? And then I'm gonna drag it inward. I feel like I'm not really picking anything up. Okay, there we go. I was trying to pick it up as light as possible because I didn't wanna pick up too much. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to like diffuse the top of the shimmers just to kind of like, I guess sort of complete them almost but I do want this color to be a bit more concentrated on the outer part of the eye. That's why I started it over here and then dragged it inward. And this is just gonna give me a little bit of dimension on my lid. Now I'm using this color by itself and I switched over to the N506. It's just a smaller blending brush and I'm just going to very lightly apply that on top of that brown. I kind of wish I had switched brushes and used this one first, but oh well. But I'm using a smaller brush because I don't want to completely cover up that brown. But I just want to like make this part of the eye just a little bit lighter so it kind of like diffuses out. Okay, I think that these two colors together, they're coming off looking a little muddy. So I'm going to see if I can concentrate this red just a little bit more so that it looks, so that you can kind of see the difference in the two colors. So like already to me, that looks a little bit better with it being more red at the top. All right, next I'm taking the NYX Liquid Liner, and this is in the color black. And I'm using this to make my lash line look a little thicker. Okay, so I'm gonna do the lower lash line, and I'm pretty much just gonna repeat what I did on the lid. So I'm taking the M432 brush, and I'm starting off with the first color, Baradero. And I'm 
concentrating that on the outer part of the lid. Next, I'm taking Savia and I'm going to start that in the inner part of the lower lash line and work my way inward. It's really hard for me to do this and stay in frame, so I, I'm i trying, but I'm sorry if you can't see me. And lastly, I'm taking El Malecon, and I'm gonna put that in the middle, and then it'll end up overlapping the first two colors. And lastly, I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm going in with the color La Costa. And I'm gonna use that to highlight my tear ducts. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with mascara and I'm using a tip that I picked up from a fellow YouTuber. Her name is All Things Antonia, so I'll make sure that I link her in my description bar. But I was watching one of her Get Ready With Me's and she likes to layer different mascaras that do different things. And I thought that that was a great idea because a lot of times mascaras, they, they claim to be like all in one, but they're really not. So I'm gonna start off with the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This one I feel like is really good for um, lengthening your lashes, but to me it doesn't do anything for volumizing. So I'm gonna use this mascara to give me some length. And this is also really good at separating your lashes. Both of these mascaras, I'm also going to be using them on my lower lash line, but I probably won't. Um, I'll probably cut the frame out because every time I put mascara on the lower lash line, I just cannot stay in frame because I have to like bend down. But just so you'll know, whatever I'm using on my top, I'm also using it on my bottom lash. Next, I'm going in with the It Superhero, I'm sorry, It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This one is good for lengthening, but it's really good at making your lashes look super black. I think that's the name of the color. Yes, the name of the color is super black. So it's good at making your lashes look really black, but it also gives some volume. I do think this mascara can be a little clumpy, but I do still like it. So I'm gonna go over with one coat of this. I do have one of those lazy lashes on this eye, and I try to not get mascara on it, but it never works. Okay, so this is what my finished eye looks like, and I'm just gonna show y'all how I'm gonna finish off the whole look. I did everything else off camera, so make sure you check the description bar to see what I'm wearing. I'm going to use the NYX Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss and Bombshell to finish everything off what the color looks like. And this is like a nice, um, like a reddish brown um, lip gloss. I hope, I hope I was in frame <laughs> when I was putting this on. I'm sorry if I wasn't, but this is what it looks like. 
Okay, so I zoomed y'all out so y'all can see my entire face. So this is what the finished look looks like. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and by leaving me a comment. And I really hope that y'all will come back for my next video. Until then, here's a couple others that you can check out from my channel. So please watch and enjoy. And I'll see y'all next time. Take care. Bye.